everyone and welcome to this Ariana Grande inspired makeup tutorial. To start off this look, I'm going to make myself a little bit tanner by taking this MAC foundation, which is totally my mom's, with this Nivea Men's Shave Balm just so the foundation has something to stick to. The only thing I don't like about MAC foundations is the fact that they make you look orange. I don't understand why they put so much orange whatever they put in it, but I wish that they would just put a little bit more blue in there and the, these foundations would be perfect because they're pretty full coverage. They make a girl tan. They make anyone tan. So yeah, this shade is like three shades darker than me. It doesn't really pick up on camera, but in person it's extremely noticeable because I'm pretty pale. And when I wore this to work, everyone's like, whoa, you got it tan. And I'm like, no, it's just makeup. Oh, the dedication for you guys. So then I'm taking this Maybelline concealer to get rid of my under eye circles. Because Ariana is flawless. She looked so amazing in this video. Don't you guys agree? Like I was so obsessed with her. And I do want to recreate the other two looks she has in her other two music videos. So you guys be looking out for those. I will probably be a little bit late on those though. So there will be probably a lot of tutorials on them already. But of course you want to see my version too. So then I'm taking this infallible powder to make myself matte as a dream just like her. I wish that her makeup artist would reveal the stuff that she uses. I try and find it, but he's pretty secretive, whoever it is. Unless I just can't find it because I might be horrible at finding information. Then I'm taking the N Naked 3 palette. I studied her eyes for the longest time and tried figuring out if her eyes were rusty, if they were brown, if they were taupe. But after looking at it for a while and when the video switched colors, you can tell that she has more of a rose gold on her lids. So I'm just taking a rose gold color from the Naked, uh, Naked 3 palette and placing that all over my lid with the flat brush that it comes with. This brush is great for just packing on that color. I'm sorry if the lighting gets a little light in here, guys. My lights like to do that for some reason. Or it's my camera. I think it's my camera. So then I'm taking another color and layering it over so I can get that nice rose gold Ariana lid that she loves so much. I'm also blending out those harsh lines. So then I'm going to take the color Limit, and this is going to be our transition color, our very first transition color. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to buff out the crease. Then what I'm also going to do is take a smaller brush just to make that uh, outer V a bit pointy because that's what she had going on after studying her lids. Also, just a reminder, guys, this isn't the exact way she did it. This is just how I can see it. The video was pretty dim and like there wasn't that many still shots of her and whatever there was, it was not so long. So this is just something inspired. It's not gonna be the identical thing. So I'm sorry if it's not completely identical to what you're looking for, but this is what I could see at most. So I'm just gonna continue to blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to take this color over here, I don't know the name of it. It went by really quick, but you guys get the idea. Idea. It's the last, second to last one. And kind of make a halo effect. So take it on the outer corner and in the inner corner. I kind of saw that she had that. What I studied it when she looked down a little bit and it's just so gorgeous. Then I'm going to take this rusty color from the chocolate bar palette because I felt like they didn't have this color in the Naked 3 palette. So I'm just making sure to darken that little halo effect up a bit more. This is totally gorgeous. I loved this makeup look. Like I rocked it until the end of the night and I was so happy with it. It was just so pretty. Such a pretty night look, I believe. So then I'm just gonna buff out that with my brush. Also guys, I don't think I look like Ariana Grande. I haven't done an Ariana Grande tutorial in such a long time because people are always like, you look nothing like her. But I mean, I don't let people influence me. Of course, there's gonna be hate and then there's gonna be love. I just don't want people to get the wrong idea. Like I don't look anything like her. She's gorgeous and everything. I wish I did, but we're very different. This is just a makeup recreation, not a transformation. So keep that in mind. Then I'm popping uh, a light color underneath my brow bone because she kind of had that. Maybe not so much, but I wanted to add that. 
and also make sure to highlight the inner corners because she always has light in her inner corners and it just makes her eyes look so pretty and innocent. Then I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and just messily place it on my upper lash line because I'm just going to smudge it out anyways because she has like this sexy smudged liner and it's su supposed to add a seductive, seductive effect to the eyes because she's being seductive in the video. She's a dangerous woman, you know what I mean? Then I'm taking the last color, and I think it's called Black Heart. And with a small detailed brush and a credit card, which isn't really a credit card, this is really old, I'm going to make a winged eyeliner made of eyeshadow because that's just sexy and smoldering, isn't it? So I'm just doing that. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out so it can blend up into the crease. Make sure to do that on the other eye as well. So as you can see here, I'm just cleaning up the eye a bit, just so everything is nice and blended. Don't forget to blend that, that eyeshadow, guys, because it's not supposed to be that obvious that it's a wing in the end. It took me a while to realize she even had this. So then I'm taking brown eyeliner because she always has her waterline lined, but in this video, it wasn't super black, it was brown. And very thinly line it. Don't go um, below the lower waterline. Then I'm taking these Vegas Nay lashes. I felt like these eyelashes were a little too harsh. Try and find eyelashes that have more of a wing in the end. I just couldn't find any in my drawer. I have a lot of eyelashes, but I felt like these would have worked the best. And when I put them on, I was like, no, but it was already too late. So try and find some fluttery lashes that look more along towards the end because she doesn't have that much fluff in the inner corner because these have a lot of fluff in the inner corner so I was disappointed by that but other than that I think that it looks pretty good so once I'm done with the eye makeup I'm just gonna create the Ariana Grande pout she does her makeup artist doesn't draw her a cupid's bow unless she got lip injections and her cupid's bow disappeared or something but she does not have a cupid's bow and her, she just has like a, cir a circular, like round, pouty mouth. And she always has this beautiful, dusty, rose, nude, uh, just plummy color on her lips. And I wanna know what the heck she uses because it's gorgeous and she uses it all the time. So I'm just taking stone. I tried getting as close as possible. I mixed a bunch of colors. You can still see my Cupid's bow because I have such a big Cupid's bow, but um, I tried to cover it as much as possible. Then I'm taking Midi from ColourPop just to get that more nudish look that she has going on. Please, Ariana, list what makeup products you use because we all want them too. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just drying this off, waiting for the glue on my lashes to finish off as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be definitely a makeup look for the other two new music videos of Ariana. Okay guys, I will see you then. I love you.